happy work. There's a culture we're building here at Semper Fi that brings respect back to a very hard job. And that's why we know that our crews are going to do the kind of work that you expect. This is Brad Youngbluth with Semper Fi Roofing and Exteriors, your local veteran-owned and operated exterior remodeling company. For your new roof, siding, window and door installation, or masonry work, you can count on Semper Fi to keep you safe, warm, and dry. We keep you safe, warm, and dry, Semper Fi. Say cheese, whether you like it with tomato soup or with bacon on sourdough, the cheese stands alone. The 11th Annual Wisconsin Grilled Cheese Championship returns Saturday, April 20th at the Lay Memorial Pavilion at Harris Park in Dodgeville, Wisconsin. General admission is $5, VIP tickets are $30, and are on a first-come, first-served basis and include a sandwich, a drink, soup, and a goodie bag. Visit the Dodgeville Area Chamber of Commerce Facebook page for more information. It's the Wisconsin Grilled Cheese Championship on Saturday, April 20th in Dodgeville, Wisconsin. James Imaging Systems, your local document imaging partner. JamesImaging.com. Big backyard. 1 1. Yelich hits it in the air in the left with some thump. Steer is back onto the track. He's at the fence looking up. Goodbye. The Brewers take on the Orioles at Camden Yards in Baltimore. Our coverage of Game 1 begins tonight at 5 35 on your home of the Milwaukee Brewers. News Radio 620, WTMJ, Milwaukee. It's 11 o'clock. I'm Greg Matzik. This is Wisconsin's Midday News. It's Friday, April 12th. Your top story, charges filed in a missing woman's murder. I'm Jessica Ty. No more recall for Voss. Decreasing clouds today. Breezy with a high of 58 degrees. Clear tonight with a low of 40. Beautiful Saturday on tap. Mostly sunny and mild. A shower perhaps in the evening. 67 your high near the lake. 69 your high inland. It's 56 degrees in Milwaukee. At 11.01 from the WTMJ breaking newsroom, an update to a story we've been following on WTMJ. Charges now filed in a human remains case out of Milwaukee County. Sade Robinson, 19 years old, had been considered missing, but now investigators confirm it was her leg found in Cudahy last week. And prosecutors are charging a man named Maxwell Anderson with Robinson's murder. Sheriff Danita Ball calls it a heinous crime, but there are still many questions. What was the motive and how was Robinson murdered? Ball did not confirm. However, she did say that Robinson, as of now, is the only missing person that's linked to this case. We have looked at other parts of the investigation to see if there are any uh, others that could be linked. Uh, and so far, we there hasn't been any evidence that there is any. Anderson faces a homicide charge as well as mutilation of a corpse and arson charges. He and his lawyer were in court this morning. Eric Bilstead, WDTMJ News. We now know the identity of the man who was shot and killed by Waukesha police this week. It was 50-year-old Christopher Milankovic. Officers arrived at the Waukesha CarMax Tuesday morning to investigate a theft. When they got there, they found Milankovic walking away. They say he didn't comply with orders when they tried to arrest him and that he was making overt actions consistent with pulling out a gun. That's when officers shot him. It was later determined he did not have a gun. Four officers are on administrative leave while this case is being investigated. Wisconsin's Election Commission rejected a petition to force a recall election targeting Assembly Speaker Robin Voss. The vote 5-0. to zero. The commission members all agreed that there were not enough valid signatures. It was supporters of former President Donald Trump angry with Voss who launched the recall effort. They cited his refusal to decertify President Biden's narrow win in the state in 2020. An open seat coming to the Wisconsin Supreme Court. Justice Ann Walsh Bradley announced Thursday she will not seek re-election at the end of her term. TMJ4 Chief Political Reporter Charles Benson tells Wisconsin's Afternoon News what this could mean for policy and politics here in Wisconsin. There will not be a new justice put on the state Supreme Court until sometime in August of 2025, depending on who wins that race and whether or not the balance of the court changes. Benson expects the next race to be just as competitive as the last one, which elected Janet Protasevich. State Supreme Court justices are elected to 10-year terms. A nationwide drug shortage is impacting patients across the country. Drugs for cancer, ADHD, diabetes, and other critical medications being reported by doctors and pharmacists as hard to come by. More than 320 life-saving medications with limited availability. Kimberly Dard's daughter needs ADHD meds, but filling the prescription is tough. So you want me to potentially not have consistent medication for my daughter? What's going on? Not enough supply against greater demand, post-pandemic manufacturing, and raw material issues, and big 
pharma companies not producing enough generic drugs that are cheaper. Derek Dennis, ABC News. Time for news about your money in the WTMJ Annex Wealth Management market update. All the indices looking to rebound here with the Dow currently down 312 points at 38,147. The Nasdaq also down today about 186 points at 16,256. S&P 500 down about 50 and a half points at 51.48. It's a great time for your retirement and investment strategy review from a fee-only fiduciary. Check out AnnexWealth.com. Click on the Get Started button today. Stay close. Sports, traffic, and weather next. Sonny Unlimited WTMJ News Time is 11.04. This report sponsored by the Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin Health Network. Heart disease won't stop us. Diabetes won't slow us down. Allergies, high blood pressure, shoulder pain, cancer. Nothing will keep us from pushing Wisconsin ahead. Because with the Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin Health Network, forward progress is what we stand for. That means always pushing and always innovating. With new technologies and breakthrough treatments that make life better, whether we're sick or well. It means providing more convenience and more ways to receive medical excellence for all your health needs, for big and small. It means being there for you our family caring for yours. So let's keep raising the bar. Let's keep testing the limits of what medicine can do. Let's push ahead and make life here as great as it can be. Visit Freighter.com to find out how. This is WTMJ Steve's Committee. A few years ago when my shed was struck by lightning and burned down in my backyard, I wish I knew Jeff and Jake at Loyal Family Renovations. If your home has suffered storm damage, don't stress any longer. Loyal Family provides free damage inspections. They also treat their customers like their family and treat every project as if they're working on their own home. Loyal Family is family owned and the loyalty belongs to their customers. Contact them today to help make your home remodeling dreams a reality. LoyalFamilyRenovations.com the pulse of the Milwaukee Bucks, straight from a Bucks legend. Can't get it off. Marcus Johnson will, though. You can't leave him alone for a ball. Tap into Here District with Marcus Johnson on Bucks Plus. Marcus and his son Chris offer a weekly beat on Bucks basketball. Get your questions answered and hear from the biggest names in basketball. Find Here District with Marcus Johnson at Bucks.com slash plus on the Bucks app or wherever you get your podcasts. Time for a WTMJ sports update from the Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all sports desk. Brewers begin a three-game series against the Orioles tonight in Baltimore. Coverage gets underway at 540 on WTMJ. Milwaukee 8-3 and three on the season. Giannis out tonight. Damian Lillard doubtful. The Bucks take on the Oklahoma City Thunder. It's a road matchup for the Bucks. Just two regular season games remain, including tonight. You can hear the game on 94.5 ESPN at 7 o'clock. And round two of the Masters underway from Augusta. Max Homa and Bryson DeChambeau share the lead at 7 under par. DeChambeau just getting his round started. World number one Scotty Scheffler one shot off the pace after an opening round 66. Taking a look at the roads with your WTMJ Johnson & Sons paving time saver traffic. No serious crashes that are impacting traffic, but you know what is? The construction out there. Construction zones right now, I-43 northbound, Brown Deer Road to downtown. That is a two-minute delay. And I-43 northbound, downtown to Brown Deer Road, there's a delay there as well. Three minutes, 894 westbound, Mitchell Interchange, Hail Interchange, just a one-minute delay this afternoon. Traffic is sponsored by Richlands Tire and Service Center. Richlands Tire and Service Centers. Five locations and all easy to find. Visit richlands.com when you're due for service. Decreasing clouds today, breezy conditions, a high of 58, mostly clear tonight with a low of 40. Should be a beautiful weekend, 68 your high inland on Saturday and are mostly sunny skies. You might see a shower at night, 64 near the lake. Sunny and mild on Sunday with a high of 73 inland, 67 near Lake Michigan. It's currently 56 degrees in Milwaukee at 1108. Live from the Annex Wealth Management Studios in downtown Milwaukee, it's Wisconsin's Midday News, making stories come to life. Now, here are your hosts, Greg Matzik and Jessica Ty. And the Friday edition of Wisconsin's Midday News is underway. Greg and Jessica with you until 1 o'clock. Aaron Pelican producing the program today. And some big stories here we are covering, especially on the local level. And now it's time for three 
Big Things on Wisconsin's Midday News. Number one, one week after being arrested, the man linked to human remains discovered in Milwaukee County is now charged. WTMJ's Adam Roberts has a criminal complaint in hand for 33-year-old Maxwell Anderson. You just returned from the press conference. They said it was going to be brief, but I'll tell you what, they actually gave us a lot of information. What did you find out? Well, we heard from both Sheriff Danita Ball as well as Milwaukee Police Chief Jeffrey Norman, the two jurisdictions handling this at the moment. You may have heard in the news, Danita Ball confirming that the human leg that was found at Warnemount Park in Cudahy, confirming that to be that of missing teenager Sade Robinson. A preliminary investigation have shown that the leg is Ms. Robinson's and yes, the uh, human remains have not been identified yet. Now, important note there, Ball referring to the remains that were found separately in Milwaukee near 30th and Lisbon and where that car was found burned at 30th and Galena. Those body parts have not yet been ID'd. The investigation remains ongoing. I did ask Sheriff Ball also if any sort of motive has been determined now that Anderson has been formally charged with homicide. No comment on that question. Adam, what I thought was very interesting was, you know, not only detailed phone records, but this Life360 app that Robinson had on her cell phone. It, it sort of shows how, how the two were sort of bopping around the city on that night of her disappearance, April 1st into the early hours of April 2nd. Right, and there was also some speculation that Ball kind of raised as to any a connection between the two. She inferenced that there may have been a work connection. Not 100% official on that. Those were her words at the presser. And obviously, as this is still a very fresh investigation, charges just dropped this morning. Still a lot yet to be determined for everything we know so far Check out WTMJ.com. Yeah, we've got the criminal complaint in hand as well. We'll get into a deeper dive of this throughout the program today. In Washington, the House of Representatives set to vote today on reauthorizing a key aspect of the Federal Intelligence Surveillance Act. Section 702 has prompted some concerns on both sides of the aisle. The measure reforms and extends the warrantless surveillance program for two more years. A five-year reauthorization was blocked by GOP opponents earlier this week. The House is weighing whether to require warrants when the FBI searches the vast collection for data on Americans. That amendment is backed by civil libertarians on the left and conservatives on the right. But the White House opposes the change, saying it would create a backlog in a highly valuable intelligence program. Yeah, we had more on this story uh, yesterday. It, it does appear to be a, a back-and-forth sort of deal. No really clear issue on where it's going to go. FISA law allows U.S. intelligence agencies to spy on the communications of foreign nationals and do so without a warrant. Number three, country singer Luke Combs will pack American Family Field this weekend. He has two shows, one tonight, one tomorrow night. I feel like a lot of us can relate to this. This tour, it's his... Growing up and getting old to her. Yeah. <laughs> Can't you feel that, Greg? <laughs> it's a very country vibe to that title of the tour, isn't it? Oh, it's so great. It is just, oh, it's going to be packed. I mean, this is this is one of those concerts where you can go out ahead of time to the ballpark and tailgate before the concert. Sure. Combs Tour is sponsored by Miller Lite, and he actually spent some time at the brewery this week. It was really cool. A lot of employees got to meet him. They got to shake some hands. He got to get his hands on some hops. I believe he... Shotgun to beer as well at on the top of the brewery. There you go. <laughs> and something else that was really neat too on Instagram, he debuted a new song while sitting in the nosebleed section of the stadium while workers were building his stage in the background. It's called You just heard it right there. Take me out to the ball game. Let's listen to it for a minute. What's this every other weekend thing? Even all Mama said she loves you. It's kind of a sad song. I, I thought he was doing a rendition of the Take Me Out to the Ball Game that you and I know, right, with Peanuts and Cracker Jacks. I was oh, like, wait a minute, man. he's getting the words all wrong. So you were a little caught off guard, huh? A, a little bit, yeah. It's his own song. It, it's actually kind of a sad story if you listen to the song. But nonetheless, uh, it's sort of a beautiful setting for his unveiling of oh, his new song. Yeah, I mean, since he's way up on the top, looking down, you can see his stage as it's being set up. You can see the green grass of our ballpark and just the roof. I think just the, the camera angle just made our ballpark at American Family Field look stunning. So big concert this weekend, two nights, tonight and tomorrow night. It's the Growing Up and Getting Old Tour. 
in Milwaukee, and he's a big one. He's a big name to get. He was just nominated with eight Academy of Country Music Award nominations. Yeah, from uh, Fast Car. And then uh, he and Tracy Chapman, of course, performed that live at the Grammys. A very touching moment at the Grammys. It's 1114 on WTMJ, the mm-hmm. intersection of the campaign trail and courtroom. Once again, very much present for Donald Trump at a big week coming. Might last a couple of months. We've got the resources of ABC assisting us with a pre-trial discussion after this. I guess maybe things are different now. Daddy, can't you see? Take me out to the ball game. Miss any of the truth on WTMJ? I represent the ball. Maybe there's something wrong with me. Catch the podcast wherever you get your podcasts and catch up on moments like this. The, the general assumption or assessment would be, ooh, y'all don't like each other. Based on what? Well, you guys always disagree. That's healthy. <laughs> That's how you learn. And listen to the truth on WTMJ every Sunday from 7 until 9 with Dr. Ken Harris and Denise Thomas right here on 620 WTMJ. Greg Matzik here for Holiday Automotive in Fond du Lac. Holiday, they opened their doors back in 1959 as a trusted place to buy and service a vehicle powered by a great group of caring people. Well, here we are today in 2024. That tradition proudly lives on. 65 years later, connect with Holiday and join the celebration. They've got a 65th anniversary sale going on. That means all great stuff for you to explore from Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC, or check out the terrific value and peace of mind benefits of a GM-certified pre-owned model. It's Team Holiday's genuine hospitality, their passion for helping others, and delighting guests that have made fans of thousands in the Badger States. For over six decades, a lot of fans, including me. In fact, I'm a repeat customer. You'll be in great hands with Wisconsin's number one Buick and GMC dealer on your side. Working for you. Accolades are per 2023 Buick and GMC zone sales records. So find yours and discover the difference. Begin the process online if you'd like at Holiday Chevrolet Buick and GMC. Highway 41 and 23 in Fond du Lac and online at HolidayGM.com. It's worth the trip. Suit up for the $800,000 Sports Car Series at Palawatomie Casino Hotel, Milwaukee. April through May, score free play, cash, one of four new Toyota GR86s, or a new Toyota Supra. Play with your club card to earn entries, five times the entries on drawing days, and when the Milwaukee Brewers play at home. Got what it takes? Slugger, only at Potawatomi. For more details, visit PaceBig.com slash sports car. Must be 21 and a club member to play. Breezy conditions, mild-ish temperatures today. will top out about 57 degrees, overnight low of 40 under clear skies. Should be a winter tomorrow, 67 year high. If you are inland, about 64. If you're closer to the lake, might see some rain later in the evening. More from TMJ4 meteorologist Tyler Moore coming up in just a few minutes. It is 56 degrees in Milwaukee at 1117. Well, it's the intersection of the campaign trail and courtroom once again for Donald Trump. Jury selection in Trump's New York hush money case scheduled to begin on Monday. ABC's Peter Haralambus will be in the courtroom on Monday and throughout the proceedings. Peter joins us on the line today. Hello, Peter. Hey, good morning. How lengthy a case do we expect this to be, I guess is my first question. And do we expect to see Trump in the courtroom at all throughout the proceedings? It's going to be a long one for the former president. We're looking at about six to eight weeks. It could go possibly even longer. There are a lot of really unknowns that affect the schedule of this trial. Um, But one thing's for sure, it's that Donald Trump is going to have to be there in person. The trial's going to sit on four days a week, taking a brief break on Wednesdays. But we should expect Donald Trump to be in that courtroom from about 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. every day, bound to New York. He suggested he might campaign at night or on the weekends, but it's going to be hard with the obligation to be there and be in front of that jury on a daily basis. How tough is it going to be to find impartial jurors? I mean, this isn't like a local case where maybe people weren't paying attention to the news. Defense lawyers argue it's nearly impossible. Ultimately, they're going to have to find 12 jurors and six alternates who live on the island of Manhattan to be jurors in this case. We have a sense of how that process is going to work out. We've seen a jury questionnaire, some of the questions here that are probing for bias. It asks about, for example, where jurors get their news, if they've ever been to a Trump rally, if they ascribe to a group like QAnon or Antifa. 
Um, but it's going to be a lengthy process at the end of the day. It's hard to deny that former President Donald Trump is a nearly universally recognizable person. So in this case, they're going to have to find people who don't have super strong thoughts or who can cast those aside and still be impartial. We'll see how long one to two weeks we're looking at. Trump's camp fought for a delay of the proceedings here, Peter. Ultimately, that was rejected. Was that more to support his campaign trail or were they trying to beef up their own defense? I mean, Trump has four criminal cases across the United States at this point, and the one thing that really unifies them is his lawyers attempt to delay their case. It seems as though they're trying to push it until after the 2024 election, and in the case of this New York trial, the one that's going to begin on Monday, his lawyers have made at least 11 attempts to delay the trial. That includes three attempts this week, where for three days straight, they went to an appeals court in New York and asked for an emergency stay. They were denied in every single instance there, suggesting that this thing is locked and loaded, ready to go for Monday. You mentioned that former President Trump will have to be there in person. We have seen him in court before, oftentimes uh, attacking the judge and other people. How big of a spectacle could this trial be? Well, it's going to at times morph into what feels like a campaign appearance, because while Trump is going to be in that physical courtroom for when the actual proceedings begin, we're expecting him to make plenty of remarks throughout the day. There'll be a camera set up in the hallway, so when Trump exits and enters the courtroom, he can address the media. And he might make remarks before or after court at some of his nearby properties. Trump's going to rail against this case, and we already have a sense of what he might say. At least one prosecutor who was used to be on the Manhattan District Attorney's team called this a, quote, zombie case, because the number of time prosecutors killed the case and then resurrected it. So Trump's going to go after the idea that this is election interference, the idea that the timing of this suggests that they're trying to interfere with the 2024 election, and that basically the entire thing is rigged against him. Um, he will kind of bang that drum throughout the day. Um, but when the actual court is in session, Trump will be in his seat at council table, mere feet away from the jury. It's not exactly the most conventional way to conduct a rally, right? I'm sure he'd prefer to be off and running to Wisconsin or Michigan or other states around the country. So he's going to have to be creative in, in how he chooses to drum up his support during this time. This will be very interesting. Yeah, we have a sense that he might take advantage of his weekends. He might take advantage of his Wednesdays when he is off. Um, but at the end of the day, we expect him to just find any camera that there's going to be in that courtroom when he has something to say. Um, and it shouldn't be too hard to just scurry out of that courtroom during a break or lunch and, and rail against the trial in front of uh, in front of a camera. President Biden, for the most part, has stayed away from any direct comments on Trump's criminal cases. But here we are as we get further into the election. Do you think that's going to change with this one? It seems as though the Biden campaign is taking a slightly more aggressive stance in terms of the impact of this case and the idea that a presidential candidate, a presumptive nominee, no less, is standing trial for criminal acts. Um, but Trump takes a markedly different view of this when asked about whether or not he thought this campaign would uh, this trial and a conviction would actually hurt his campaign. Trump responded confidently, suggesting that if he got convicted, his poll numbers would likely go up. So. There's clearly a difference of opinion about how this trial is going to impact things, um, but certainly it will prevent what we expect in a traditional presidential campaign, like a flight to Wisconsin for a rally, for example. It's going to be a very interesting start to next week in the courtroom in New York, a trial that is expected to go six to eight weeks. Peter Harold Lambus from ABC. We'll check in again soon, Peter, and uh, as you go throughout the courtroom. Bring a lunch. Yeah. Sounds good. Thanks, guys, for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you. The Orioles are flying high in Baltimore. Breaking news. The trade that we thought would happen a long time ago. The Brewers have traded Corbin Burns to the Baltimore Orioles. Some big news in baseball. Orioles calling up infielder Jackson Holiday. Time to bring them back down to earth. The Brewers take on the Orioles at the Camden Yards. Our Brewers Radio Network game day coverage starts tonight at 530 on your home of the Brewers, WTMJ. Hey, I want to tell you about the best home defense contractor you can find in the state of Wisconsin. It's Siding Unlimited. Greg Matzik here. I speak from experience. Siding Unlimited has done a number of projects on our homes over the years, and they have consistently knocked it out of the park. Roofing solutions, decking solutions, outdoor kitchens, siding solutions, windows, doors, you name it, it's Siding Unlimited. The best in the business and recognized by Pella as one of five Platinum Elite certified contractors in the country. 
national awards for this local company in Brookfield. They are the best. They are fantastic to work with. Brothers run the company, took it over from their dad several years ago, and boy, they've expanded their services, and they've maintained that great local feel and incredible quality and craftsmanship. So what are you waiting for here? Visit Siding Unlimited in Brookfield, 665 Larry Court. Take some pictures, bring some ideas and thoughts, let them take it from there, and walk you through the process. SidingUnlimited.com. Acunet Mortgage is an equal housing lender. NMLS ID 255368. Steve and Ashley heard our radio ads over the years, and when it came time to buy their first home, clicked on the blue button. One of our senior loan consultants, Brad, sent them a credit-verified pre-approval the same day and then upgraded to a rock-solid, fully verified and guaranteed pre-approval shortly thereafter. They made a couple offers without success, and then Brad told them about Acunet's new property-specific pre-approval, where we might be able to include those magic words, no appraisal required. When they wrote their next offer, several thousand dollars over asking to make sure someone else didn't end up sleeping in their dream home, their property-specific rock-solid guaranteed pre-approval included that most powerful phrase, no appraisal required, and the sellers picked Steve and Ashley's offer over several others. If you think all mortgage lenders and pre-approvals are the same, think again. Go with a local mortgage lender that has the tools and know-how to help you win and save money, too. Click on the blue button today at accunet.com. Well, it's definitely felt like a sincere spring week here in the early mid portion of April. Get a warm up this weekend. TMJ4 meteorologist Brendan Johnson. Hey, Brendan, we've reached that time now where I'm, I'm separating inland from yeah. the temperature near the lake, but oh. it, but not every day. So, what causes that to change? Why no. why the such drastic difference on some days but not others? Okay, so Greg, I just want to also say that we had literally someone call the weather office. We've had a couple messages about this. So no, you're you're really hitting the nail on the head here. Uh, yeah, so what winds up happening is when the wind gets light enough, say under 10 miles per hour, the fact that the lake is in the 40s, the water temperature, means that there's such a stark temperature difference that the lake itself actually starts generating its own kind of wind field. Uh, that pressure difference, you know, usually the air pressure is just slightly lower lower, uh, you know, over uh, the cooler water, you got a little bit higher pressure out over uh, that uh, warmer water or that warmer land. And what winds up happening is the air starts to rise over land, the air starts to sink over the lake, and we start generating a, a wind field. So that breeze comes inland, it starts to make things cooler because all that cold air is going to come inland, uh, depending on that wind speed. Now today, it's windy out there. Out of the north and west, gusting as high. We had a gust of over 35 miles per hour in Milwaukee. The lake breeze isn't going to happen with that. Okay, a lot of people going to the Luke Combs concert tonight and tomorrow night. You can nice. actually tailgate in the parking lots ahead of time, which always cracks <laughs> me up. But we got a lot of country yep. fans here in our area. So let's start with tonight. What can those people expect? Yeah, so uh, tonight we're going to start seeing those temperatures uh, fall off slightly after topping out this afternoon around 60 degrees. It's actually going to be a fantastic uh, evening. We'll see those numbers probably around tailgating time uh, dip back into the mid upper 50s. It's going to be breezy, so those northwest winds still could be gusting as high as uh, maybe 25, 30 miles per hour, but still not bad at all. And then if you're going to be out tomorrow night, uh, it, we're talking about temperatures tomorrow topping out mid-60s, probably not as much much of a wind but that also means that we could have a little bit of a lake influence so temperatures will start falling back into the low 60s upper 50s by the time everything gets uh, started over there at AmFam. Yeah, that's all right we get to celebrate this weekend though overall it looks like a winner. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're talking about uh, 65 for Saturday, Sunday, 68 degrees, inland spots likely climbing into the low and mid 70s, especially on Sunday. Uh, and then as we head into next week, you know, Monday's looking fantastic, just a bit cooler. I really think the lake breeze is going to have a pretty bigger impact on Monday, 64 at the lake. And then Tuesday, we'll have to watch out for some showers and as well as some thunderstorms. And we're keeping an eye on a severe weather threat across a good portion of the uh, nation's midsection. So we'll see if any of those storms get a bit too strong, but uh, otherwise, we're holding on to the 60s. It really looks like spring has taken hold in the seven day forecast. Love, Love it. That. TMJ4's Brendan Johnson. We appreciate it. Have a great weekend. Yeah, you too, guys. 1128 on WTMJ News is next. Carol King, one of the most beloved and successful songwriters of all time. I feel the earth. 
Fireside Theater presents Tony and Grammy Award-winning Beautiful, the Carol King Musical. Her story from 18-year-old songwriter of Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow, to writing hits for the biggest acts in music, to the trailblazing success of her album Tapestry. And it's too late, baby, now it's too late. Beautiful features such unforgettable classics as Pleasant Valley Sunday. We gotta get out of this place. You've lost that love and feeling. On Broadway, The Locomotion, and of course, A Natural Woman. You make me feel like a natural woman. Every ticket to the fireside includes memorable dining, spectacular gift shops, and free parking. Order your tickets now. Call 920-563-9505 or visit firesidetheater.com. Beautiful, the Carol King musical through May 26th, only at the Fireside Theater. Each day there's a sliver of time when you can almost breathe freely and you feel better when you can, but you know that eventually that sliver of time closes along with your nose. It puts a damper on your day every day. So you pop a pill or you take a spray to try to get that relief back, but it's always short-lived. And all the while in your efforts to give yourself relief, you may be making your nasal breathing problems worse. I'm Dr. Mothin Candula, and a simple in-office procedure from Advent called Balloon Sinuplasty could be the fast and convenient answer to your breathing triangle problems. Advent has been a leader in this procedure, which can be hard to find elsewhere. It's simple, there's little to no downtime, and it really can be life-changing. Go to adventnose.com to schedule your appointment, because Advent knows when you breathe well, you live better. Breathe well with simple solutions. Results may vary. It's 1130. I'm Greg Matzik. It is Friday, April 12th. Your top story, charges brought against in a missing case. I'm Jessica Tai. Happen to the lakefront. Decreasing clouds today. Windy with a high of 58 degrees. Mostly clear tonight, a low of 40. Beautiful day on Saturday. 67 year high inland. 64 if you are closer to the lake. It's 56 degrees in Milwaukee. At 1131 from the WTMJ Breaking Newsroom, Milwaukee County Sheriff Danita Ball providing an update on the leg found in Warnemont Park. A preliminary investigation has shown that the leg is Miss Robinson's. And yes, the uh, human remains have not been identified yet. Sheriff Ball also confirming that while the investigation is ongoing, there is no evidence to suggest that there may be other victims. Maxwell Anderson, formally charged in the death and dismemberment of 19-year-old Sade Robinson, who went missing on April 1st. New voter maps signed into law this year by Governor Tony Evers have 20 paired incumbents in our state legislature now living outside the redrawn legislative boundaries. Wiz Politics' Jeff Mayers tells Wisconsin's Afternoon News, we'll know by Monday's filing deadline which incumbents are willing to move into newly drawn districts to keep a seat in Madison. Most of the incumbents paired together are Republicans. This this includes Republican freshman Angie Sapic representing far northwest Wisconsin, who is opting out. When it comes to January, you know, there's going to be a lot of freshmen, and then there's going to be narrower margins. The deadline to file paperwork to run in November is Monday. Julia Fellow, WTMJ News. Well, the Hop Streetcars first expansion is officially open in full. The L line starts inside the Couture Transit Concourse. One new rider, Mark Ward, tells TMJ4 News. You know, you can ride the main line and then connect to this line, which is the L line, L for Lake. And uh, at the east end, which is the uh, Lake Stop, I think they call that. From there, it's just a short walk across the street. And you're at the Summerfest grounds. What better way of getting over there than uh, on the hop? Other L line stops include the Milwaukee Art Museum and Discovery World. Riding a full loop takes about 20 minutes. Fighting reckless driving with paintbrushes. The project is called Brush Strokes on Barriers. Volunteers will paint concrete barriers for a neighborhood beautification project that also aims to curb reckless driving. Menominee Valley Partners and Walker's Point Association partnered to place the concrete jersey barriers near the 6th Street Roundabout in response to recent reckless driving in the area. Now they're hoping to brighten up the gateway between the two neighborhoods. Today, students at Bradley Tech High School will volunteer their time, and on Saturday, the painting project is open to community volunteers. Here's Jessica Gatso, WTMJ News. Sports, traffic, and weather are next. Signing and Limited, WTMJ News time is 11.33. The following takes place in the home of a Capital Heating, Cooling, and Electric customer. Yeah, these ducks are filthy. This family is breathing in all of this? Absolutely, Seth. 
causing allergies and illness. Gotta get your ducts cleaned every five years. So you stop inhaling harmful particulates. Merle, go scout out the rest. He's our secret asset. I'll fire up our high-powered duct cleaning truck. This dust, dander, and detritus doesn't stand a chance. Report? Exactly what I thought. We'll have them breathing clean, healthy air in no time. Okay, truck is ready. Men? Merle's a squirrel. Get ready to save this good family from the health ravages of dirty ducks. Schedule your capital duct cleaning today online at callcapitalcares.com. Tony Drake here from Drake & Associates. Big news. Our Retirement Ready Radio Show is moving to a new time slot. Catch us at noon every Saturday. At Drake & Associates, we craft tailor-made plans that not only meet your financial needs, but align seamlessly with your unique lifestyle. Tune in at noon on Saturdays and get retirement ready. Drake & Associates LLC is an independent investment advisory firm that offers a variety of different investment vehicles. As commercials provided for informational purposes only should not be construed as individual investment advice. Drake & Associates LLC does not provide legal or tax advice. Time for WTMJ Sports Update from the Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Sports desk. Brewers and Orioles tonight. Game one of a three-game series from Baltimore. Coverage gets underway at 540 on WTMJ. Milwaukee 8-3 and three on the season. Giannis out for tonight's game against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Damian Lillard listed as doubtful. The Bucks wrap up the season Sunday in Orlando. Here tonight's game from Oklahoma City on 94.5 ESPN at 7 o'clock. And a two-way tie atop the leaderboard during round two of the Masters. A pleasant day at Augusta. Bryson DeChambeau, Max Homa, tied atop the leaderboard at seven under par. Take a look at the roads with your WTMJ Johnson & Sons paving time saver traffic. Could get busy around American Family Field later this afternoon as many people are going out for the party. The tailgating before the Luke Combs concert. He's got a concert tonight and tomorrow, but things are looking good okay. Things are looking fine right now. Your traffic times are looking good. The only issues we have are in our construction zones, which is typical for this time of the day. 894 westbound, the Mitchell Interchange to the Hale Interchange. That's a two-minute delay right now. I-43 southbound, Brown Deer to downtown, also a two-minute delay. Traffic is sponsored by SB Framing Gallery, Milwaukee's distinctive archival framing. SB Framing Gallery in the Third Ward can enhance and protect your artwork for generations. Framing pieces with archival and distinctive design. Learn more at sbframinggallery.com. Decrease in clouds today, windy with a high of 58, clear tonight and a low of 40. 68 your high inland tomorrow under mostly sunny skies. 64 if you're closer to the lake, maybe a shower at night. 75 your high inland on Sunday. 56 degrees in Milwaukee at 1136. Our first contender B has been named Best Chef Milwaukee for four years. Here comes Chef Adam Padlock. <laughs> Did you watch it last night? Yes. yes. I mean, we've been all wrapped up in food shows here in Wisconsin. And on the heels of Top Chef, which is still going, yep. we had our guy, Adam Pavlik, best chef in Milwaukee for four years, appearing on the Food Network's Beat Bobby Flay last night. So we had Adam on about a week ago, but he couldn't say anything. That to was the frustrating it. part. Yeah. But a little preview. But we watched the episode last night. Now we can ask him all the questions that we wanted to ask before. I'm here. I'm here. You can ask whatever you want. <laughs> and it's I thought you were going to win. Thank you so much. I, I thought, honestly, I really did. I was like, he's going to get this. But let's go back to the first half of it, right? You did win the first part of the competition. The first round, which I think is actually like, like the hardest part of that show because you don't have any prep. You don't know what you're going to be cooking. You only have 20 minutes, and you're cooking against someone that – you have no idea who they are, their background, what they're going to do. And uh, and that's the first time you're on set, too. So, like, you have to know where everything is. You have to learn the space and all that. At least when you're going up against Bobby, you already have that pre-round to get ready. So Yeah, so let's walk through the, the, the format of the show here, right? And it's 36th season. I mean, it's a Food Network staple. Yeah, that was the first episode long? of the new season. So that was exciting, too. People don't know that, but that was the kickoff yes. to th- season 36. Oh, nice. Yeah. Good point. I did not know that. See, it's you and a competitor. You never met the competitor before. You meet uh, as you're driving over in an Uber, for goodness sake, to yep. the studio. And then it's it's one on one. You get twenty minutes, and Bobby Flay presents the secret ingredient that you have to make something within twenty minutes. Yeah, so walk make me the highlight that. of the of the of the dish. But you know, 
I watch so many Beat Bobby plays and just like kind of get ready for that. And it could have been anything, a pineapple, mango, you know, red onion falls right into that like, oh, crap, kind of like scenario because. Did it really? For me, definitely, because I feel like it, it's not like it was a duck breast or something like where you know what it's going to be. It's like you have to be more imaginative with that dish, uh, with that ingredient, and you have to make a dish that's actually good. And you only have 20 minutes. Yeah. So like, yeah, there's a lot of things you can do with a red onion. You think about that, but how many things can you do in 20 minutes? So I just went to my roots. If you watched, if you didn't watch, I made a French onion bucatini pasta, which I've done before. Yum. But uh, it was really fun to be able to uh, to do that and just make Red Onion the star, and I, they really liked it, and that pushed me through. You destroyed the other person. Uh, like, like it, it wasn't even close. Like it, <laughs> it was, was not. I don't think so. No, it was like a salad that I think I could have made at home. Oh. It, just, it didn't look right. <laughs> it didn't really. It didn't look fantastic. But as soon as you said the pasta you were doing, I was like, oh, he's got this. I mean, that is right in your wheelhouse. It yep. doesn't flower. And I feel like it's like I said, even on the show, it's like it's comfort food. It's something that I knew that they were going to enjoy. So I think it was more so that guy was up against the French onion pasta. Cause like, there's not a lot of things that I could have done unless I like maybe charred or burned all the onions in the beginning to make like the sauce for it that I knew he was just going to have to bring something really, really good. And, and, it, and it prevailed. And I was happy that I could re- represent pasta too. That was fantastic. So then you get to the point where it's you and Bobby Flay. So yep. now you got like an hour but you 45 minutes 45 minutes yep. okay but but then you suggest what the dish is going to be that bobby has to cook so he exactly. has no idea what you're thinking yep so then um and a lot of people just to get this clear right here on 620 is i would have done pasta against bobby but they wanted me to do something else so that's why because i got a lot of questions like why wouldn't you just do pasta against him and that is why but steak is still in my wheelhouse and so you um, chose steak and potatoes yep and i knew my dish like i knew i was doing that ribeye with that sauce with those potatoes all that and um and it was just something that i knew like a chef of his caliber obviously could come up with something but if you watch you could see like he undercooked his steak or he was still i feel like a little rattled even though i think the simpler it gets the more difficult because there's so many ways you could do steak and potatoes it's crazy so but I, I think can't that's believe Bobby difficult. Flay gets rattled. I think he still does. You know, he's been doing it for a long time, but obviously, like, it could be, you know, he could be under the weather. He could have something on his mind. He could just, you know, mess something up like any chef could do, no matter what what they uh, what their level of cooking is. Um, but I think I, I represent myself and my food. I, I'll stand behind it till the day I die. For All right. Sure. I want to I want to talk through the, the ways of preparing the steak. Yeah. You had one method. Bobby had another method. Everybody loves to make steak at home. Not everybody sure. has a, a grill to do it outside the way that you could do it on a grill. Yeah. You guys are cooking it inside your preparation versus his. Yeah. So I think other than the ending of his steak, uh, where he like pulled it out early, sliced it and like refired it again, we were pretty similar. We really liberally salted and, and seasoned the steak. If you watch, it was just completely covered. We both did that, uh, cast iron, super hot pan, got a good crust and then kind of like put a bunch of aromatics. Like in my pan, I put a bunch of, uh, chorizo sausage and like herbs and stuff and started basing it just to get more fat in there and more flavor um and then finished it in the oven until um it was right before mid rare we i let it rest so it actually got to rest twice i seared it pulled it out put it on that rack and then when it was time to go again back into the cast iron because i had a little bit of time in between um and then into the oven on a really hot you know 450 500 degree oven and then you pull it back out and uh, let it rest again and, and slice it up nice and just hope that it's do you cooked. stick a thermometer in there do you know your tank I don't, or do you trust I do it not. no i just you just gotta the key to like a ribeye is uh touching them the very center because that's like the eye of the ribeye and that's going to be the hardest part to cook as you work your way out they have like the cap and everything and that goes a little bit quicker because there's more fat and if it, it's a little bit firm but still pushes down you know that you're good you just don't want to be touching it, and it's just like not doing anything. Sure, yeah. sure. Well, I was very excited to see you doing the steak and potatoes because I do think about, because of egg and flour, I know you do so much, but being a pasta guy, so the pasta was fabulous, but I was really excited to see this. And I'll be honest, I thought you had it, especially when they said that Bobby Flay's was a little, or at least one one person said it was underdone. Yeah. But then is it one of those things where, okay, maybe underdone to one person is not underdone to another? I mean, I love my steaks medium rare, but sure, some yeah. people would be like, heck no, I don't want that. Yeah, or they want it way under. I feel like it was way under. I feel like 
you know, at this point it was like, was my steak as good as the potatoes maybe? I don't know. You know, you never know what they're thinking. You never know how it, it plays out in their head. But, like, I was more confident, honestly, in the steak round than even, like, the pasta against the salad where I was like, after hearing them talk about the steak and how it was like, okay, you know, I was like, I got this. Because they were loving my steak and they were loving yeah. the sauce and everything about it. Then the potatoes, just a little downfall. But So do you think of that now every time you make potatoes? You're like, oh, not when I make the potatoes. I just think of that moment like, hey, I could have done this maybe a little different. But honestly, if you think about it, people don't think about this ever. Is Have you ever had like warm potato salad? That's kind of my play on that. And that's what that was, was kind of tossing them um, while they were hot and uh, getting some nice flavor into them. I, I didn't like that they... They made the potatoes the star of that dish in I choosing so. Bobby is kind of what happened there. Yeah. That's kind of what my view was. Now, here's the other part that I really enjoyed. I First of all, enjoyed watching this with, with my daughters. Is that the man who was at our house? He was <laughs> like, we were making like, yes, food together. Is. Like, yeah, yes, absolutely. It certainly was. So they could not get over that. They thought so that was cute. absolutely amazing. That's great. And then they asked, does he have to go home now instead of watching the competition shows where it keeps going? Yep. Like, well, yes, it's a one episode thing. Uh, but we were amazed, and, and we thought it was so cool how you just played up to the crowd, right? Sure. Yes. You, you kind of throw zingers here and there. You're feeding the crowd a little bit of your steak. Like yep. You really enjoyed the experience, it looked like. A hundred percent. I feel like I was the most comfortable in any cooking competition uh, show or any TV stuff in that moment um, between the set and, and what I was doing and just the energy in there. It was really good, and uh, I was super confident going into that and knowing that show. And I think it showed really well. You know, maybe the last show people thought that was just like more timid. And like, even though I won Super Chef Grudge Match, I was more chill and didn't really have any uh, like talk smack to anyone or whatever. But I feel like this last one, I kind of opened up a little bit more. And I think that's that showed a lot in there. So I was super comfortable and was just having a blast from the first round all the way to the end and being able to hang out with Bobby and all that was just great. Yeah, there was a decent amount of smack talk. I mean, at first, oh, yeah. in the first round, the competition was talking smack, and then you had a, the comedian in there as well. At one point, they were like, Mr. Longhair, don't care to you, yep. right? <laughs> yeah, Chris Rudd is great. You know, I actually was talking to him on Instagram about it, and uh, he's actually really cool, and we and we chat, and I think he had a really good time, and maybe I'll be able to, like, cook for him again or something, because he, oh. he loved it. We got We got along really well. They loved your sauces, too. The sauces that you made for the potatoes, for the steak, yep. that, that seemed to go over really well. Yeah. they. I think they were they were so interested in what I was doing, and they and they liked to check in and, you know, make sure that they made the right decision. And I think out of the two chefs that they had, I think they made the right decision. And I had Bobby on the ropes, for sure. Yeah, you did. You know what? When we go back to the potatoes, I was just looking at my notes. They called his sensual potatoes. Sexual potatoes. Sexual potatoes, yes. yeah. Michael Salakis. Oh, sexual. Who is I a legend. Sensual, same and thing. I was actually a little nervous <laughs> when I saw him. He was the one of the judges out of the three that I actually knew and followed. Hmm. Um, legendary Greek chef restaurants and stuff. And that was kind of worrisome when he said that, where I was like, are they just teeing this up to be like, this is it, you know? But like you said, steak against potatoes, everyone's going to a steakhouse. If the steak is amazing, the potatoes are just okay, they'll still come back. If I go to a steakhouse and the steak is not that great and the potatoes are really good, I may go back, yeah. <laughs> for the, you know, Agreed. and just order the potatoes and like opt out. But it is what it is, and I think I represented myself well, and hopefully I can uh, do another one. Something I loved that I haven't heard you talk about before, you said you want to win for your mom, that yes. everything you do in the cooking world is for her. I thought yep. that was so sweet. Why is that? Yeah, so, like, for her is, like, obviously when uh, I've had interviews about, like, what I've done in culinary school and stuff, and I never really did that. I just worked. So it was more so, like, proving to her now, like, I told you I was going to do something, and she made her national television debut last night. They showed a picture of me and her, so... She got to be on the big screen, and she was super excited. But she's the number one supporter, and she's always uh, so so curious and excited about what I'm doing, whether it's a, you know, a dinner for six people at a house or on national television. She's the same excited level, which is awesome, and it's good to have support like that. Um, and, yeah, she loves my food more than anyone, even if it, if it is a, a soggy potato. She would love it. <laughs> Soggy potatoes and all. So what, what's the next step now? Do, do they contact you? Do you stay in contact with them? Oh, I'm just going to keep tagging Bobby Flay and Food Network for a rematch <laughs> until I get it. But no, I, I just keep applying. And 
I think there was a lot of good viewership, like I said, first episode of the new season, and hopefully some opportunities. There's so many new cooking competition and shows that are always either coming out or or new seasons or whatever. So I love the cooking competitions on TV. Not that it's on TV, but just that it's a different scenario for me and different than what I'm doing um, in my everyday life. So I'll keep doing it, and uh, hopefully we can get on another one and keep rocking and rolling. Awesome, man. That was so fun to watch last night. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. Great job, and you had him. You had Bobby Flay, the legend, on the ropes. Well, I, I would have voted you. <laughs> Me I too. I didn't taste the food. I would have voted you. Looks so good. I it appreciate looked better. it. Adam Pavlik, like a regular guest here on Wisconsin's Midday News. Good to see you, man. Have a great weekend. Thanks so much. You bet. It's 1149 on WTMJ. I'll say it again. Our mission is to protect and uphold our reputation. And what that means is wherever we go, we make it better for those in need of our services and the great people we have working with us. Our reputation matters. It matters to us, and it should matter to you. We believe that operating with integrity will set us apart from our competitors and that this attracts people to us that share these same values. I say this because I want you to know when you work with Semper Fi, character counts. It's why you can count on the industry's hands-down best lifetime workmanship warranty that now includes free annual inspections. And it's why we always have one project manager per job, which is absolutely not the industry standard. When you're paying for a brand new roof to go on what's likely the biggest investment you have, you want it done right, and you want to be able to count on the people doing it. This is Brad Youngluth with Semper Fi Roofing and Exteriors, your local, veteran-owned and operated exterior remodeling company. We keep you safe, warm, and dry, Semper Fi. Helping people and families seriously injured in accidents and standing up for victims to take the burden off your shoulders. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. You've heard the phrase, right? You've seen David talk about it on his commercials. It's really that and a lot more with Gruber Law Offices. There is no fee. There is no cost to call. There's no cost to consult and retain the firm. In fact, never a fee with Gruber until they win your case. And that's what they do. One of the largest personal injury firms in the Midwest with results that speak for themselves. Over 35 years of giving back to the community, this family-run business in Milwaukee making a difference and helping others. Locally known and nationally recognized, it's Gruber-Law.com. Find them online at Gruber-Law.com. 414-276-6666. It's Gruber Law Offices. Ridiculous fees, robocalls, customer service that's lacking the actual service. It sounds like you might be getting bullied by your bank. You don't have to settle. At Wintrust, we take a different approach. Whether you need banking solutions, a new home, or help planning your financial future, Wintrust has local experts ready to lend a hand. Stop banking the same way, expecting different results, and start banking where you matter at Wintrust.com slash no bully. Wintrust, different approach, better results. Banking products provided by Wintrust Financial Corp. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Here's to sweet summer days together with friends and family in Wisconsin. To discovering magic in every moment. Hey, Mom, over here. And to reconnecting through a world filled with wonder. Wow. Here's to supper club celebrations and dancing until the sun goes down. Here's to those who Wisconsin. Plan your summer getaway at TravelWisconsin.com. Outdoor living is great, but it's best when it's at your own home. Well, there's a company called Outdoor Living Unlimited that will build you a deck, a patio, pergola, fire pit, all manner of things to enhance outdoor living at your place, even an outdoor kitchen. Get started right away. Contact Outdoor Living Unlimited now. Get your yard project onto Outdoor Living Unlimited's calendar while there's still openings. OutdoorLivingUnlimited.com now there's a simple, easy, and effective way to clean your nose and protect your health. It's called Navage. Navage, available at navage.com. I'm Brett Matchkey, and you're due for service. Rich Lawns. Acunet Mortgage is an equal housing lender. NMLS ID 255368. Steve and Ashley heard our radio ads over the years, and when it came time to buy their first home, clicked on the blue button. One of our senior loan consultants, Brad, sent them a credit-verified pre-approval the same day and then upgraded to a rock-solid, fully verified and guaranteed pre-approval shortly thereafter. They made a couple offers without success, and then Brad told them about Acunet's new property-specific pre-approval, where we might be able to include those magic words, no appraisal required. 
When they wrote their next offer, several thousand dollars over asking to make sure someone else didn't end up sleeping in their dream home, their property-specific rock-solid guaranteed pre-approval included that most powerful phrase, no appraisal required, and the sellers picked Steve and Ashley's offer over several others. If you think all mortgage lenders and pre-approvals are the same, think again. Go with a local mortgage lender that has the tools and know-how to help you win and save money, too. Click on the blue button today at accunet.com. Come. Say cheese, whether you like it with tomato soup or with bacon on sourdough, the cheese stands alone. The 11th Annual Wisconsin Grilled Cheese Championship returns Saturday, April 20th at the Lay Memorial Pavilion at Harris Park in Dodgeville, Wisconsin. General admission is $5, VIP tickets are $30, and are on a first-come, first-served basis and include a sandwich, a drink, soup, and a goodie bag. Visit the Dodgeville Area Chamber of Commerce Facebook page for more information. It's the Wisconsin Grilled Cheese Championship on Saturday, April 20th in Dodgeville, Wisconsin. WTMJ, W277-CV, and WKTI-HD2 Milwaukee from the Annex Wealth Management Studios. This is News Radio WTMJ, a good karma brand station. Sunny skies, but breezy conditions today with a high of 58 degrees. Should be really nice tomorrow with a high of 67. If you're inland, 64 closer to the lake. Might see some rain tomorrow night. 75, your high inland on Sunday under sunny skies. Very mild. 56 degrees in Milwaukee at 11.54. A presidential visit to the state capitol, the death of an infamous athlete turned criminal, and a break in a human remains case. And more. It's all coming up in the Week in Review, brought to you by Outdoor Living Unlimited. What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. President Joe Biden is heading to Madison today. The White House says he'll be announcing a new student loan forgiveness program. There are some crowds outside, there's some protesters, and then on the inside, there's about, I'd say, 200-ish. I get instructions from my wife, who's a school teacher. She said, make sure you say hello to the mayor. I really like being with her. After 10 years with only one tuition hike, a 3.75% increase is estimated to bring $39 million a year to the system. We consider this a modest increase uh, in light of recent inflation level. The governor will sign the Prince Act this morning at Holly Environmental School in Milwaukee. Any system that we put in place may have gaps, and you don't recognize gaps until it's too late. This is an example of what should happen when we find out out that there are loopholes or fragments in laws. Suspect dead after police officers shot the 50-year-old man. They were on scene for attempted vehicle theft. The suspect was transferred to an area hospital for advanced care, where it's later pronounced deceased. A bomb threat was made to Milwaukee French Immersion School before the school day began Tuesday morning. Tuesday afternoon, a bomb threat was made to Brookfield Elementary. The Wisconsin work ethic shows through. Commander of the 128th Air Refueling Wing, Colonel Charlie Merkel, his proud unit one of just a handful in the country being considered for a fleet of new refueling tankers. The tanker is a gas station in the sky for our military planes. It also represents a new era in air-to-air refueling. Across the country, more than 100,000 patients need a life-saving transplant. In Wisconsin, more than 1,400 people. I hope that everybody that's physically able to does. We need the sounder for this. Fire away. We got ourselves some breaking news. Oh, good. All right. Breaking news from the National Football League about our Green Bay Packers, the NFL making official what a lot of folks had suspected once the Philadelphia Eagles were said to be playing a game in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Their opponent will be the Green Bay Packers. Any final thoughts? Go back. Justice Ann Walsh Bradley says she will not run for another 10-year term. Bradley making that announcement this morning that it's time to pass the torch. Representative Bob Donovan's house is no longer in the district he represents. He plans to run in what was his district. That means if he wins, he'll have to rent or buy a new house. I'll tell you, I've been checking out the rents. And the last time I rented an apartment, it was for $210. You said it, the rent, it's too damn high. Another attempt at early release denied for Morgan Geyser. So in this matter, after hearing all the credible evidence, I'm satisfied that the petition should be denied. So ordered. This is a bittersweet show because tonight is my final night as host of WTMJ at night. I've had the pleasure of working with a lot of great producers and I've been touched because most of them reached out and said, hey, we'd like to come on your final show 
and um, share a few words. I loved producing for you. All the times you called me Pancake, the memories that we made. I can't believe Scott Warris, it's your last TMJ. Wait, oh, he doesn't host anymore? Who hosts now? Who? Oh, the beer guy? Boom. Roasted. O.J. Simpson's family posted on social media. Our father, Orenthal James Simpson, succumbed to his battle with cancer. To breaking news ahead of the news conference scheduled for 10 o'clock this morning. There is a criminal complaint. Charges filed against the person of interest in the discovery of that human leg. The charge, first degree intentional homicide against Maxwell Anderson. Whoa. A week. Go, back, go. You can get down on that thing. Wordle, nerdles. Ladies and gentlemen, the weekend. Burkhart Sporting Goods has a great reputation for producing custom team apparel. We're total team outfitters and we can handle the biggest jobs. Our success in custom team apparel led us into group and corporate apparel. Plus, we have a full selection of promotional products for employee gifts, special events, you name it. And we've made it easy for our customers to firm up their orders. The group sale web stores that we build for our customers are a simple way of gathering all the information you need. They're easy to work, easy to understand, and with them you'll have access to nearly limitless options. We've seen that most times we're better priced than our competition on the same high quality apparel choices that the other guys offer. Plus Nike and Under Armour choices that the other guys can't get. And we offer a huge brand selection from Yeti, North Face, and Carhartt too. This is Brian Burkhart. For team group or corporate custom outfitting and promotional products, it's going to be really hard to beat our prices, selection, and ease of buying for any size budget and every size company. And that's why we always say, You can't beat Burkhart. New Berlin and Fox Point. Sleep apnea is a serious condition. And the worst part about it is, because it affects you while you're sleeping, you don't know what this condition is doing to you. And it was scary because I found out that I was waking up 145 times an hour. 145 times. I was scared. I wasn't getting the sleep I needed. And that's the thing. Someone like John wakes up after thinking he's slept all night, and he's been feeling run down for years, and finally finds out something really is wrong. This is why for us, solving sleep apnea problems is so gratifying because we really are changing lives. I've had more energy. I'm getting better sleep. I've been told from my wife I don't snore, but honestly, it changed my life. This is Dr. Mudd and Candula. Solving your breathing triangle problems means a better quality of life, and you deserve that. Go to AdventKnows.com to schedule your appointment, because Advent knows when you breathe well, you live better. AdventKnows.com Results may vary. The place you want to go, Lynch McWanago. Nobody sells for less than Lynch. The 1-1. Yelich hits it in the air in the left with some thump. Steer is back onto the track. He's at the fence looking up. Goodbye! The Brewers take on the Orioles at Camden Yards in Baltimore. Our coverage of Game 1 begins tonight at 535 on your home of the Milwaukee Brewers. News Radio 620 WTMJ Milwaukee. At 1201, I'm Greg Matzik. This is Wisconsin's Midday News for Friday, April 12th. Your top story, charged with the murder of a missing teen. I'm Jessica Tai, a country star showcasing AmFam Field. Decreasing clouds, but windy today with a high of 58 degrees. Mostly clear tonight, a low of 40. 68 your high inland on Saturday, 75 on Sunday. 56 degrees in Milwaukee at 1202. Three charges, including first-degree intentional homicide, have been filed against Maxwell Anderson in connection to the death of teenager Sade Robinson. In addition to homicide, Anderson is charged with mutilation of a corpse and arson of property other than building. Milwaukee County Sheriff Danita Ball confirmed a severed leg found last week in Cudahy belonged to Robinson, though Milwaukee Police Chief Jeffrey Norman added additional remains found in Milwaukee near 30th and Galena have still not been ID'd. Please note we continue to search for additional evidence that has not been located. Ball also reported no other victims are believed to be involved and that there is no ongoing danger to the public. Adam Roberts, WTMJ News. Wisconsin Supreme Court Justice Ann Walsh Bradley is not seeking re-election after three decades on the court. TMJ4 Chief Political Reporter Charles Benson tells Wisconsin's Afternoon News he expects the race for the next justice to be highly competitive. The former Attorney General, Brad Schimmel, had already announced last year that he was going to seek this job. And that tells you another sign of how people see the role of the justices as being extremely important. 
More than $50 million was spent on the last Supreme Court race in Wisconsin that resulted in the election of Janet Protosevich. Bradley will leave the court at the end of her term in July 2025. Milwaukee County Board of Supervisors considering overriding County Executive David Crawley's veto of pay raises for top three officials. Crawley's veto blocked a 36% salary increase for treasurer, clerk, and register of deeds. The Board of Supervisors is meeting today to consider the override, or they could introduce an amended proposal that would call for a smaller salary increase for the three positions in 2025. Crawley is not opposed to increasing annual salaries for county employees, but expressed concern that the 36% raise would not maintain equity among levels of government. A country music star uses a Milwaukee backdrop to release a brand new song. Caught a fat ball up in the bleachers. This is Luke Combs releasing a new song that he recorded while playing in the upper deck at American Family Field. Take me out to the ball game. Pick me up at the, the country stars playing AmFam tonight and tomorrow. Pretty cool. He's some phenomenal entertainer. Brewers president of business operations Rick Schlesinger on Wisconsin's Morning News. The fact that we put these shows on sale and they were almost sold out instantly it reflects how popular he is and how good he is. So it's going to be great two nights at the ballpark. Eric Hillstead, WTMJ. Sounds nice, doesn't it? You can expect some congestion around the ballpark tonight and tomorrow. For those parking at the stadium, keep in mind the Brewers are still using last year's method. You can either purchase online ahead of time or pay using a credit card at the lot entrance. Time for news about your money in the WTMJ Annex Wealth Management market update. Not great news here. The Dow currently down 489 points, tumbling down below 38,000 at 37,968. The Nasdaq also down today about 278 points at 16,163. S&P 500 down 78 points at 5120. For sound financial advice from a fee-only fiduciary, it's Annex Wealth Management. Go to AnnexWealth.com, click on the Get Started button today. Sports, traffic, and weather next. Saudi Unlimited WTMJ News Time is 12.05. Hi folks, this is Hank Albert, owner of BBC Lighting. With the weather getting warmer, our prices get even hotter. When you visit our showroom, you'll see all the finest brands of lights and ceiling fans. BBC is Wisconsin's largest supplier to new home builders, contractors, and designers. And we display all the famous brands, such as Visual Comfort, Tech, Hubbard & Forge, and hundreds more. Our prices are the lowest. I guarantee it. There's something for everyone at BBC, including fun for the kids and our famous free popcorn. BBC is open Monday through Friday from 9 to 5 and on Saturday from 10 to 4. We are located at 20th and St. Paul Avenue, across from Solomon's and Bachman Furniture, all near the Potawatomi Casino. Stay safe and healthy, my friends. Are you looking to downsize your home? Does the thought of moving out of your lifelong home with cherished memories overwhelm you? Hi, this is Jean Nemovitz from Bruce's team. As you transition into the next stage of your life, our team is ready to take you from overwhelmed to I can do this. To start the process of downsizing and moving to the lifestyle you deserve, call us at 262-242-6177 or visit brucesteam.com. Suit up for the $800,000 Sports Car Series at Potawatomi Casino Hotel, Milwaukee. April through May, score free play, cash, one of four new Toyota GR86s, or a new Toyota Supra. Play with your club card to earn entries, five times the entries on drawing days, and when the Milwaukee Brewers play at home. Got what it takes? Slugger, only at Potawatomi. For more details, visit facebook.com slash sports car. Must be 21 and a club member to play. Time for a WTMJ sports update from the Gruber Law Office's One Call That's All Sports Desk. It's the Brewers and Orioles tonight from Baltimore in game one of a three-game series. Coverage gets underway at 540 on WTMJ. Brewers 8-3 and three to begin the season. 
Giannis out tonight. Damian Lillard doubtful. The Bucks prepare for a road contest against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Regular season wraps up Sunday in Orlando. Here tonight's game on 94.5 ESPN at 7 o'clock. And during round two of the Masters, it's Max Homa and Bryson DeChambeau atop the leaderboard at 7 under par. Scotty Scheffler is one stroke off the pace and yet to tee off for his second round. 65 degrees, pleasant conditions at Augusta. Taking a look at the road with your WTMJ Johnson & Sons paving time saver traffic. A reminder for you, if you drive around the ballpark, maybe if you're going from downtown back home in the evening or vice versa, it's going to be busy around American Family Field, not only today, but tomorrow as well, because Luke Combs is coming to town. He's bringing his concert in. What was that name of that concert again? I really like that. Growing Up getting old <laughs> that's the tour that's coming to town so it is going to be busy traffic wise around the ballpark right now things are looking good for the most part i-43 southbound brown deer road to downtown that's one of our slow spots right now that's a three minute delay due to construction 894 westbound the mitchell interchange the hale interchange that's a one minute delay traffic is sponsored by TaybackAttorneys.com. veterans benefits denied call tayback for the payback Brave Americans who served shouldn't be denied benefits or have a disability claim incorrectly evaluated by the VA. If you're one of those vets, call Tayback for the payback. TaybackAttorneys.com. Very breezy conditions today. Gusts up to 35 miles an hour. Hang on to your hat. High of 56 degrees. Overnight low of 40 under clear skies. Beautiful Saturday on tap with a high of 68 inland. 65 if you're closer to the water. And you might see some rain at night, but it won't impact your Sunday. 75, your high inland on Sunday. 55 degrees in Milwaukee at 12.09. Live from the Annex Wealth Management Studios in downtown Milwaukee, it's Wisconsin's Midday News, making stories come to life. Now, here are your hosts, Greg Matzik and Jessica Ty. Friday edition of Wisconsin's Midday News reaches our number two. Greg Matzik and Jessica Ty with you until 1 o'clock. Aaron Pelican producing the program here on Friday afternoon. And a big story here locally that we're diving into. It's now at noon on Wisconsin's Midday News. Yeah, the big story now at noon. A 33-year-old Milwaukee man is now charged in the death and dismemberment of 19-year-old Sade Robinson. Let's walk you through the timeline of events in this case. Robinson was last seen on April 1st. On April 2nd, Milwaukee police got a call from Cudahy police about a severed leg found in Warnemont Park. That very same day, MPD investigated an arson, a car arson, at 28th and Lisbon. Here's Milwaukee Police Chief Jeffrey Norman. Video surveillance recovered from the arson investigation led investigators to search the area of 3000 West Kalina Street. On Friday, April 5th, investigators located human remains in the area. On Saturday, April 6th, MPD continued the search of, in the area and located additional human remains on the railroad tracks. Later in the evening on Saturday, April 6th, MPD returned to the area when Ms. Robinson's family located her blanket. At this time, detectives located additional Remains. And it would continue. Milwaukee County Sheriff Danita Ball says that the recovered leg appeared to be from an African-American female. A Milwaukee police officer aware of the investigation raised the concern that the leg might be related to the missing persons case, that of Sade Robinson. A preliminary investigation has shown that the leg is Ms. Robinson's and yes, the uh, human remains have not been identified yet. So just to be clear here, the severed leg has been identified as Robinson, but the other human remains that were found, they are still in the process of identifying those. On April 4th, which was a Thursday, the investigation by the Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office led to a person of interest. That man is Maxwell Anderson. He was arrested at a traffic stop. A search warrant of his home led to the charges that we see today. Sheriff Danita Ball. For first degree intentional homicide, mutilating a corpse and arson of property other than building. So the investigation is ongoing. Sheriff Paul did make very clear they believe there was only Maxwell Anderson uh, directly involved in this case as to other potential victims. This is an ongoing case and we have looked at other parts of the investigation to see if there are any uh, others that could be linked uh, and so far we there hasn't been any evidence that there is any this is an intense case. Oof. 
of course, for the victim's family, without a doubt. You think of them first and foremost. Also, for the community and for the emergency responders and the investigators. Sheriff Ball also mentioned the impact of the work on those investigators. Just to know that someone has uh, you know, been dismembered in a fashion like that, uh, you know, it, uh, you know, our investigators, they want to find justice for the victim. And you know what? I, we've got the criminal complaint in front of us. It, it details just how uncareful Maxwell Anderson was in this entire operation. Number one, you've got the discovery of a severed leg in Warnemont Park. Okay, that is concerning if it of itself. The leg appeared to be sawed off, according to the criminal complaint, at the hip. It was recovered and transported to the Milwaukee County Medical Examiner's Office and examined by Dr. Lauren Decker. There is video footage of Anderson's vehicle plowing through the gate at Warnemont Park to get as close to Lake Michigan, the bluff, as possible so he could launch the leg down the bluff and ultimately toward the water. So you had that. You have Robinson being reported as missing by her friend. You have the discovery of Robinson's 2020 Honda Civic. And then you have phone records here which reveal a conversation between Robinson and Anderson. They were setting up a a place to meet on their first date. They were going back and forth in a text exchange They ended up meeting at the Twisted Fisherman, which is off Canal Street in Milwaukee. The other interesting part of this, Jessica, is that Robinson had on her phone the Life360 app. Yes. So the Life360 app is an application that provides location-based services and allows users and subscribers to share their locations with others. Well, one of Robinson's friends knew she had this, right? And it was ultimately uncovered through online search. And it shows they went to the Twisted Fisherman. They went to Dukes on Water. They went to the area of 40th and Oklahoma. That's Anderson's place of residence. And then ultimately, her last place where the phone was registered or showed up in this Life360 app was at Warnemont Park. And it was stationary in that stretch of the park that encompasses the location where the leg was discovered. Ultimately, the battery on her phone died, and that was it. April 1st into the wee morning hours of April 2nd. Well, and here's the thing. Before today, there were a lot of questions as to what's going on because they were holding this man, 33-year-old Maxwell Anderson, but had not charged him yet. So a lot of people were wondering, you know, do they need more time to investigate? Do they need to find something else? But now that we have this criminal complaint in hand, we know they had a lot. So what they needed to do was to investigate all of this and get it ready to put it in the criminal complaint so they could go all in with this. One of the other things that they had was a text exchange between the two. And it's it's really eerie in cases like this to actually read what seems like a text exchange that could happen and does happen any day of the week, right? Hey, where are we meeting? I can do five. Downtown somewhere? Okay, sounds great. Broadhouse on third? Perfect. I mean, it's just one of those that it could be a text between friends. In this case, it was likely a first date, but uh, they discovered this text. They learned that uh, the other number was Maxwell Anderson's. They connected that phone number to his address. They had a lot here. And also, let's just take a moment to remember the victim in this case, because what we know for sure that 19-year-old Shade Robinson at this point is no longer with us. And... She was a month away from earning her associate's degree in criminal justice at MATC. She was working at Pizza Hut Shuttle. I know the mother talked to the Journal Sentinel and said that she was pursuing a career in the U.S. Air Force. I mean, this is a young woman who had her whole life in front of her, and she's gone. She's no longer with us, and she was taken in just such a, a brutal way. In fact, today during the press conference, I know they described it as heinous, and definitely so. The defendant, the man charged here, the 33-year-old, charged with first-degree intentional homicide, mutilating a corpse, arson connected to Robinson's car. This is a guy who was living on Milwaukee South Side. You know, his neighbors said, yeah, seemed like, you know, he kept a low profile. Maybe they saw him a couple times walking his dog. He worked at several local bars, most recently Victor's on Van Buren, which a lot of people know about. Then they're, they're at Twisted Fisherman, um, as you mentioned, Greg, and Twisted Fisherman was a spot that he also worked at because, as we've read from this criminal complaint, he was going there beforehand to pick up a W-2 before he was meeting Robinson for this first date. So uh, the criminal complaint is very, very detailed. The investigators had a lot of work to do and, and wanted to make sure they had 
their I's dotted and their T's crossed to get this together so Anderson could be charged and this case can move forward. Yeah, very impressive work done by uh, Milwaukee police and, and surrounding districts that were able to lend support to this case. Sad story, but a continuing story and one that will develop over time. We'll continue to bring the latest on the case. It's 1218 on WTMJ. Tony Drake here from Drake & Associates. Big news. Our retirement-ready radio show is moving to a new time slot. Catch us at noon every Saturday. At Drake & Associates, we craft tailor-made plans that not only meet your financial needs, but align seamlessly with your unique lifestyle. Tune in at noon on Saturdays and get retirement ready. Drake & Associates LLC is an independent investment advisory firm that offers a variety of different investment vehicles. As commercials provided for informational purposes only should not be construed as individual investment advice. Drake & Associates LLC does not provide legal or tax advice. For all your garage door needs, it is Geist. Don't think twice, right? Since 1955, Geis has been the trusted authority in Wisconsin. Greg Matzik here for my friends at Geis Garage Doors. They've got doors and openers for every budget. I could not believe how many doors and openers they actually had in stock in their showroom in Brookfield. It's right off Barker Road, very easy to find. That could be a very quick turnaround time for you. If you need to go the custom route, Geis can help you there as well. In fact, I saw people sanding down a wood door, getting it ready for stain, That was the kind of attention they put on the door. They had three people surrounding the door, staining it, getting all ready to go. Pretty amazing stuff. That's the kind of service and expertise you can expect from Geis. Swift, reliable repair solutions are available. And just a phone call away at 262-784-4250. It's GeisDoors.com or 262-784-4250. Maybe just stop by their showroom in Brookfield. You'll be amazed. Hundreds of doors and openers in stock, some on display for you to see and walk through the process with them. They'll even come out to your place. From Cudahy to Cedarburg and all points in between, don't think twice, call guys. Hey, WTMJ's John Merck here here. When it comes to painting, don't do it yourself. Call the pros at your local neighborhood, Serta Pro Painters. That's what we did. Serta Pro came out, gave us choices, walked us through the process. And then when they were there, it was quick, it was easy. Our home is beautiful. Excellent worksmanship all the way around. It's Serta Pro Painters. Each Serta Pro Painters business is independently owned and operated right here in Wisconsin. Schedule your free estimate online at SertaPro.com. That's Serta with a C. When choosing a painting professional, the choice is simple. Choose happy. Choose Serta Pro Painters. Here's to sweet summer days together with friends and family in Wisconsin. To discovering magic in every moment. Hey, Mom, over here. And to reconnecting through a world filled with wonder. Wow. Here's to supper club celebrations and dancing until the sun goes down. Here's to those who Wisconsin. Plan your summer getaway at TravelWisconsin.com. Wisconsin's Big Day News continues on WTMJ. Greg Matzik and Jessica Ty with you. Is your microphone over okay over, over there? My, mine's already busted. So. I'm just going gonna... to hold on to it the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Did something happen? It's okay. I can do the interview. It just, you know, sometimes it goes... Oh, you that's hear that? not good. That's not good. <laughs> You're a rock star. Hold I've got it, it. I've got it. Hey, have you looked at the calendar? Sunday is April 14th, or 414, also known as Milwaukee Day. If you're new to town, 414 is our area code. But don't worry. If you're in the 262, you can celebrate too. That's right. The creative director at 414 Milwaukee, Fred Gillich, one of the organizers for Milwaukee Day, joins us live in the studio to tell us what's going on on Sunday. Hey, Thanks guys. for joining us. Yeah, it's my pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Milwaukee Day started, when I think back to this, with just some buddies talking yeah. about the idea. Yeah. I did a story years ago with two of them. Andy, You're actually friends with those yeah, guys. Yeah, Andy and Brent. They're good guys. And, uh, you know, back in my younger years, 12, 13 years ago, uh, you know, we'd hang out in these bars and stuff and come up with crazy ideas of doing things. And that might stick. That's cool. And, and then uh, I was like, you know, this might work. And so the brand, not necessarily because of those guys, uh, began because I, I had, had a career in, in, in designing and art and all this sort of stuff and I had this other brand called Too Much Metal. And I would go to these places I was invited around the world and country like Coachella and Lollapalooza. And they would tell me, man, like, I had no idea you were from Milwaukee. You're a really cool dude. And it, 
So this is 2006, and I'm like, you know, maybe it's time to start doing some Milwaukee stuff and kind of change the narrative about what Milwaukee is and how it's perceived, you know, around the country. And I think it's working right now. And because of those guys, they, they you know, the, the joke turned into something that's almost like a phenomenon now. Everyone is doing something. You well, know, that's the thing. Harley's doing something. The city's adopted yeah. it. The mayor's office has been really great. They understand it. They understand the pride that people have in their city. And it's not necessarily the stereotype stuff. So this is kind of like, uh, you know, the stereotypes we all know are beer, cheese, you know, brats, Harley, brewers, all that stuff, which is fine. And we like all of that. Yeah, yeah, we do. I'm not getting down on it, but yeah. I'm like, but there's more to that plate of food. Sure. You know, and so it's it's like, let's let's expand that. Let's talk about those things and let's get healthy about Milwaukee. Let's kind of uplift and talk about, you know, guys like Adam, who was on here before, who I know I've known since he was 10. And his dad used to uh, come to Summerfest with me or with him. And, you know, we get to hang out and talk in and, you know, he's like, I'm going to do this one day. And sure enough, he did. And here he is. He's on national TV. He's one of our heroes. Uh, DJ Sean is like that. I think there's this kid, 16-year-old, 10-time national boxing champion, Violet Lopez. It's going to be at the flag drop on Sunday at 10 a.m. Um, so this is what Milwaukee means to me. These are all these people doing things outside of what expectations are, underdog style, achieving at the highest levels possible and saying, you know what? I'm from Milwaukee, man. It's cool. I love it. And you talk about the flag drop. For people who aren't familiar, you're going to be out there. Was this your idea, actually, yeah. to drop the flag? Did you yeah. call up the mayor and say, hey, I, I we got to do this? So years ago, before they started doing this flag program, I wanted to fly it on top of City Hall. And this was 2016, 2015, something like that, right around there. And there's an ordinance where you can only hang or fly uh, a state or an official flag from any sort of municipal building. So can't do it. The alternative used to be they would give you space on like the bridges that connected Juneau okay. Town and Kilbourne Town. If it, you know, if you're a Milwaukee and you know what those two towns used to be, the bridge wars and all that stuff. So they'd line it and I'm like, well, that's not impactful. That's not cool. So Alexis um, used to work in the mayor's office, came up with this plan of hanging the flag. And I think the first flag that they dropped was the flag, uh, the pride flag. And then I think Summerfest was the second people to do it. And then, then I got to do it, which was, I was the third one to do it. And then since then, the Bucks and the Brewers have all kind of followed suit. And so Alexis and, and their team and the DPW and all those guys and me recently have figured out how to make this efficient, how to make this cool, how to make it fun and exciting and turn it into something. And now it's, it's, it, it is what it is now. Last year we had 250 people show up. We're expecting more. There's even a wedding there. Someone <laughs> who's gone to the very first one, like when 50 people were there, uh, is decided this is so cool. I want to get married They're on this getting day. Married. Yeah. On Milwaukee Day. On Milwaukee Day. At the day. flag drop At when the they dropped drop. the 414 flag. That's right. Well, and you've developed this incredible clothing line too. You're supporting the uh, the 414 mission with your 414 hoodie. Yeah. Adam, who we had in here last hour, had his 414 hat yeah. on, which was great. He gets it. That's how we take care of each other. Right. You know, it's like, you're our, man, you're from here. We got you. We, we love you, man. And uh, don't think otherwise. You, we're all welcome here. The mission of, of, of 414 is to draw the circle bigger. Everyone is welcome. You know, just be cool about it. Be yourself. Be authentic. Uh, represent where you come from. Whatever that hard, as long as you're like hard work and real, we love you. And I think like on all kinds of levels, we appreciate that. I think you see it in our sports. Giannis is a guy like that. It's kind of embodied that flavor of working hard and, and becoming, you know, and I think a, a champion. And so we have that on all these levels and it's, it's time we recognize that and, and I think we're doing a really good job with it. We represent well. So what else is going on? We got the flag drop, but there's a lot more. There's a lot more. We wrapped the hop this year, and so that's more of the mission of keeping Milwaukee cool. We did a full wrap. The mid middle car of the hop is wrapped. One side is Harmonic Harvest. This is run by Jenna, her nonprofit. Um, and it's basically an organization that uses the arts to tell stories about Milwaukeeans through programs like using recycled fabrics from the fashion industry to tell stories. Uh, so she's on one side of it. She's cool. She's going to be there if you want to get to know her and, you know, kind of use art therapy as a tool to communicate. She's there. Um, and the other side is 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 what we do, which is streetwear. So it's street art because that's what she put on there. Yeah. And then there's streetwear on the streetcar. So if you add all that up, you get street cred. And <laughs> Love it. That's math, man. That's Milwaukee math. <laughs> that's Milwaukee I like that. Math. Keep it simple that math. math right? Let's keep Milwaukee it simple math. math. We yeah. need to stay. If Fiserv would not appreciate this, but can we start a petition to call it the uh, Fiserv 414? 414? 414? Yeah, I started yeah, that. that. I did. <laughs> it was great. And so, I mean, this is how much I love the city, you know? And it, it, you don't realize how cool you are until you travel. And other people recognize that in you. And then you can live up to that potential. You know, maybe you don't see it yourself because, like, the weather's hard. 
and you know things loiter winter loiters forever and but then when you get that encouragement from elsewhere you start believing in yourself and then you can start doing things and that's you know maybe we can convince them to do that maybe one day when you know this is a, a fashion house like gucci or adidas or something <laughs> i can buy sponsorship but that's right. far and few between let's get more people there right yes. what else i mean bubblers putting out free rides yeah so for i'll the tell day. you the program for the day uh, bubbler um used to offer a couple of hours free on that day and then so i started talking to them and they're great people and i said well we have all these events going on and luckily the weather's cooperating how about we connect the entire city? If you start the flag, if you start your day with the flag drop, like the ball dropping in New York for New Year's, then you can go celebrate whatever it is that you do. Yeah. Because you can express yourselves and celebrate Milwaukee way better than I can. Go do it. Start there. Get to meet a bunch of cool people. Get on the bike. It's free, the electric or the pedal bike. And go to your next event. Go make some friends over there. And you don't have to worry about driving, parking, or any of that stuff. Because it's free. Bubbler sponsoring it. Uh, Bel Air is going to go uh, donate some breakfast burritos. Um, Fuel is going to have free coffee for everyone. Uh, I'm giving away a um, free T-shirt. It's called Trophies and Scars because, you know, you can't win without having some scars. That's kind of the Milwaukee work ethic. Um, so first 100 people um, that get there get a free T-shirt. It's pretty cool. So it, that day is about service and recognizing each other. So it's not a day, if the, at, at least at the flag drop, where we want to, uh, you know, gouge anybody or, or any of that stuff. So everyone's there because, you know, they believe in it each other and you know they're going to support and be of service celebratory weekend 414 day on sunday fred oh. gillis is a creative director of 414 throw up that Milwaukee. shirt for those yeah, and then there's this that. new 414 marquette shirt yeah, that we're dropping that, as well yeah check that out on our live stream here cool stuff thanks man thanks for having me thanks for being here enjoy the week it's gonna be a great weekend as well 1229 on wtmj news in just a couple WTMJ's Vince Vitrano for Orthopedic Associates of Wisconsin. Nagging pain lasting for months, difficulty performing everyday tasks, not moving like you'd like, it's time to see the doctor. And I recommend Orthopedic Associates of Wisconsin. Anytime I've needed care, the appointments are timely, no waiting weeks to be seen, and no pressure to have surgery. It's about getting the right diagnosis and choosing a treatment plan that fits your life. No question where I turn if I'm injured again. The experts in care at Orthopedic Associates of Wisconsin. It's orthowisconsin.com. Hey, thanks, Vinny. Hey, the NBA season is hurtling toward the postseason. We've got golf ratcheting up, baseball, of course, in full swing. What a great time to get registered and sign up for Underdog Fantasy and their pick'em game. Greg Matzik here. I am playing Underdog Fantasy a few times a week, as a matter of fact. Got some stuff going on at the golf tournament as well, and the folks I've picked are doing pretty well, which means I'm doing pretty well. Underdog Fantasy. Pick between two and five players from at least two different teams. Select higher or lower on player stats. And if you correctly make your decision, you will win money if your picks hit. Up to 100 times your money, as a matter of fact. So what are you looking for today? John Rahm in golf, higher or lower than 71 and a half strokes. What are you thinking about that? Chris Middleton on the floor tonight. 22 and a half points, higher or lower. You pick, you decide, do what you want to do. Make your selections at Underdog Fantasy. Download the app and then register using the promo code WTMJ. Underdog Fantasy is going to match your first deposit up to $100. It's that simple. They'll also give you a mystery special pick, and you can use it on your first entry. It's like a freebie that'll really get you off and running. It's Underdog Fantasy promo code WTMJ. Must be 18 years in or older and present in a state where underdog fantasy operates. Terms apply. If you're concerned with your play, call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit ncpgambling.org. It's Underdog Fantasy, promo code WTMJ. Panic strikes as you realize on Wednesday that Thursday is your anniversary. The reservations being secured. We'll see you at 8. The gift being purchased. Yeah, you've got this. Just like Associated Bank's got you with early pay up to two days early on direct deposits. So even though they call you last minute Lisa, we'll make your last minute scrambling a bit easier. You've got this with early pay from Associated Bank. See associatedbank.com slash checking or ask a banker for details. Member FDIC. Now, about your house. Eric Brown is the president of Siding Unlimited, your contractor for new windows, roofing, siding, decks, and a whole lot more. He knows about your house. So what do you know, Eric? Watch out. That old deck might cost you more than a weekend of upkeep, painting, staining, or replacing old boards. That old deck on the surface may look awful and quite embarrassing in your pictures. Beyond the surface, that old deck could be a potential hazard waiting to happen. 
There are many inspection points to know if your deck is ready to support your family and friends for the weekend party, or if you've lost trust and need to replace before the big problems happen to you. Many old decks on single family homes were built by the weekend warrior or the know-it-all do-it-yourselfer. These are weekend projects rushed to be finished by the Sunday evening deadline, maybe even built with a couple cases of beer nearby. Often steps are skipped, process is lost, or even material looked over to finish the job before work on Monday. We find when replacing these types of decks, they were never securely put together to begin with, resulting in the high risk of failure. Not my deck, people say. We use the right stuff. Meanwhile, they never secured or poorly secured the ledger board to the house, didn't use enough or the right hangers, had the wrong lumber to support the size of the deck, or just plain did a bad job. All of which can result in trip hazards, flashing issues, or worse, problems supporting the weight load of your loved ones. As you entertain your family and friends, be proud of how beautiful your deck looks, as well as how you can show off the cool inspection report knowing everyone is safe because your deck was built by the right people. Eric and his crews at Siding Unlimited are your go-to contractor here for outdoor decks. Also replacement windows, roofing, and of course, siding. Take the next step. Check them out at SidingUnlimited.com. Siding Unlimited, siding, and a whole lot more. I'm Greg Mantic, your top story, a victim identified after being shot by police. I'm Jessica Ty. Do new maps mean moving? Decreasing clouds today, windy with a high of 58, clear tonight with a low of 40, 67-year high inland on Saturday under sunny skies. At 1234, we now know the identity of a man who was shot and killed by Waukesha police this week, 50-year-old Christopher Malakovich. Officers arrived at the Waukesha CarMax Tuesday morning to investigate a theft. When they got there, they found Malakovich walking away. They say he didn't comply with orders when they tried to arrest him and that he was making overt actions consistent with pulling a firearm. That's when officers shot him. It was later determined he did not have a gun. Four officers are on administrative lead while the case is being investigated. A Kenosha man is under arrest for making a bomb threat against Costco. Paul Garchak is charged with making terroristic threats and robbery of a financial institution. Both of those are felonies. Investigators say Garchak called in a bomb threat to Costco and robbed a Chase Bank in Pleasant Prairie on April 6. He was taken into custody today by the Kenosha Police Tactical Response Team. Wisconsin's Bipartisan Elections Commission rejects a petition to force a recall election targeting Assembly Speaker Robin Voss. Staff at the Wisconsin Elections Commission voting 5 nothing to reject the recall effort, agreeing that it was clear there were not enough valid signatures. Supporters of former President Donald Trump, angry with Voss, launched the recall effort, citing his refusal to decertify President Biden's narrow win in Wisconsin in 2020. New voter maps have 20 paired incumbents in our state legislature facing tough decisions on whether they'll actually run in November. They have to start circulating nomination papers on Monday, so it's decision time. With politics, Jeff Mayers tells Wisconsin's Afternoon News, new voter maps signed into law this year by Governor Tony Evers mapped many legislators out of their district, which are a majority of Republicans. But could this change our Republican-controlled legislature? Maybe, but most people are betting that it will be a Republican majority with much narrower margins. Julia Fellow, WTMJ News. And finally, three charges, including first-degree intentional homicide, have been filed against Maxwell Anderson in connection to the death of teenager Sade Robinson. In addition to homicide, Anderson is charged with mutilation of a corpse and arson of property other than building. Milwaukee County Sheriff Danita Ball confirmed a severed leg found last week in Cudahy belonged to Robinson, though Milwaukee Police Chief Jeffrey Norman added additional remains found in Milwaukee near 30th and Galena have still not been ID'd. Please note we continue to search for additional evidence that has not been located. Ball also reported no other victims are believed to be involved and that there is no ongoing danger to the public. Adam Roberts, WTMJ News. Stay close. Sports, traffic, and weather are next. Sonic and Limited, WTMJ News Time is 1237. Make this summer the best one yet. Let Fox World Travel plan your next family vacation. Whether it's a magical Disney escape, an all-inclusive resort in paradise, or a thrilling European adventure, 
We offer exclusive savings for your family. Enjoy exciting activities, educational experiences, or peaceful retreats where you can relax and recharge with our trusted partners like Globus Family of Brands, Disney, and Insight Vacations. Visit foxworldtravel.com or call 866-GO-FOX-GO to start planning your summer vacation today. I'm WTMJ's Sandy Max. What makes senior living at Three Pillars so special? It's all about living life how you choose. Take it from my friend Dent at Three Pillars. After my husband passed, I started to think about maybe moving to a senior living place. After investigating many places, I moved into Three Pillars and I got to know so many people. Living life at Three Pillars, you can live life to the max however you choose to do it. Schedule a tour today at 3pillars.org. AccuNet Mortgage is an equal housing lender. NMLS ID 255368. Steve and Ashley heard our radio ads over the years, and when it came time to buy their first home, clicked on the blue button. One of our senior loan consultants, Brad, sent them a credit-verified pre-approval the same day and then upgraded to a rock-solid, fully verified and guaranteed pre-approval shortly thereafter. They made a couple offers without success, and then Brad told them about Acunet's new property-specific pre-approval, where we might be able to include those magic words, no appraisal required. When they wrote their next offer, several thousand dollars over asking to make sure someone else didn't end up sleeping in their dream home, their property-specific rock-solid guaranteed pre-approval included that most powerful phrase, no appraisal required, and the sellers picked Steve and Ashley's offer over several others. If you think all mortgage lenders and pre-approvals are the same, think again. Go with a local mortgage lender that has the tools and know-how to help you win and save money, too. Click on the blue button today at accunet.com. Time for a WTMJ Sports Update from the Gruber Law Office's One Call. That's all sports desk. Brewers and Orioles tonight on WTMJ, game one of a three-game series. Coverage gets underway at 540. Here, the Bucks and Thunder on 94.5 ESPN at 7 o'clock. Giannis out tonight. Damian Lillard listed as doubtful. Checking out the roads with your WTMJ Johnson & Sons paving time saver traffic. The one thing to take note of at 1239 is our construction zone is getting slower. I-43 southbound, Brown Deer Road to downtown. It's now up to a four-minute delay. Traffic is sponsored by Hall Mazda Milwaukee. Visit hallmazdamilwaukee.com. While you're navigating the roads as quickly and safely as possible, if you see something we should know about, call the WTMJ Hall Volkswagen Traffic Tip Line. 414-238-9329. Windy today. Temperatures will top out about 58 degrees, 40 year overnight low under clear skies. Chance of rain, but not until late in the evening tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful day by and large sunny skies with a high of 68 inland and 64 near the lake. 56 in Milwaukee at 1240. Tori Lowe is the host of the Tori Lowe Show, 2 to 4 on 101.7 The Truth, and he joins us in studio because he's got a big weekend as well. I'll be participating, as will Tori, hey. who's organizing and leading the Tori Lowe 1017 The Truth community cleanup effort. This is a big deal in Milwaukee. I am excited, and thank you for coming out. I appreciate that. Uh, always, always the family here at GKB is always active, you know, and the thing is what we want to do is get out in the community Beautify our city together, and they have a great time. And it's also when you get done, when we get done, when we wrap it up, we're going to have cousin subs. At the end, <laughs> yeah, you know? even nice. Yeah. Yeah, so it's going to be powerful. <laughs> You're going to three spots, North Division High School, Silver Spring Neighborhood Center, and Safe and Sound. Those are the three areas where right. volunteers are going to clean up. North Division High School is your old high school. So what yes, does it mean to I you? I graduated from North Division. Powerful. What does it mean, yeah, to go you, back to there and to make a difference? You know, the, when I was at North Division, um, I was I was a deacon in church. So I've always worked to help resolve issues. But to come back years later uh, with a radio show, with a, a larger voice, to be able to do more, it's just a blessing. It's just a blessing. Uh, North Division was one of those schools in the 53206 uh, zip code uh, where people struggled a lot. And to be able to come back, help out, and be an example of what can happen and what you can do if you just go on a straight, you know, keep stay on a straight and narrow, and, and then you can come back and give back. It's just a powerful thing. You went to college in Iowa. Then you kind of bopped around a little bit. Madison, Minnesota, too. 2011, you came back here to Milwaukee. Mm-hmm. You saw this city, your city. 
our city, your hometown differently. What did you see? What did you notice? I noticed that it was trash everywhere, you know, on the north side. I thought it was real because like, when you come from Minnesota and Iowa, more agricultural things going on. And, and the first thing I noticed, oh, uh, look at all that trash that was piling up, you know, along the side of the highways and things like that. I was like, you know what? Let me get busy and try to attack some things that are visual before I can get into the advocacy. And I do a lot of advocacy for a lot of families, but that was the first thing I noticed, that we have to clean up. And cleaner communities, to me, are um, well-organized and safer communities. So you actually went around, and was it by your grandma's house? You ju- you just started picking hey, look, up the trash. I-, I was using social media. What I did was I said, hey, I'm going to come help you clean up your neighborhood. I'm going to come over there, help you clean up your block, so register. So I called it the urban cleanup. Back in the day, I called it the, the urban cleanup days. And, it, I mean, I spent the whole spring and half of the summer cleaning up blocks, like 60 blocks. It was, wow. I didn't think it was a lot of people. It was so many people that chimed in, and I didn't know it was going to go like that. So every year I just kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it. And as I became a radio host, I wanted to bring that to the airwaves. I wanted an active listening audience. And uh, for the last three years, uh, we've been able to have the community clean up. Uh, if you want to volunteer, you can go to Truth communitycleanup.com that's truth communitycleanup.com and continue a tradition where people can get out serve the community beautify it mm-hmm. and have a great time it's just powerful so north division high school tomorrow is where it'll start right so right. eight o'clock to nine o'clock tomorrow morning show up right you get a you get a bucket and you get a little thing hey, to go pick up trash and there you go all the cleanup supplies there uh we're gonna we're gonna make sure that we bring a lot of great energy and I'm going to tell you right now, when you get that many people cleaning up, if everybody does a little, nobody has to do a lot. Sure. <laughs> and it goes fast. But then yeah. you move on, right? right? So now right. we're at one location, an hour at another location. It's sort of a caravan. Right. Hop in, hop out whenever you can, right, if you're able to yeah. help out. I mean, like I said, volunteer at the location that best fits your, your time slot and whatever you can do. You know, if you can do one location, two locations, or just come early and just go all the way to the end. It's going to be a great time. It's going to be a lot of amazing people. And it's going to be some of our listeners coming in, uh, talking about, hey, we listen to you every day. We, You know, I, I, I love when that happens. You know, I love when the audience can meet some of the personalities sure. and, and just be able to do something more than talk. And at the end of the day, we've done a great job. And it's something, too, where you can immediately see mm. the difference you make, right? Yes. I mean, you can just look out there as you're driving off and say, we did that. You know, it's like cleaning your house. Like, once you clean your house, you don't want nobody to come and yes. mess it up. <laughs> That's and so true. when people get out and clean their neighborhoods up, they fight harder for that, you know, to make sure that nobody comes in and intrudes on the neighborhood. They The, the safety goes up because then people are looking out. They are able to work together, look out for each other, get to meet each other on the grounds that are not, you know, where it's confusion. This is just a beautiful thing to do. And I encourage if you can't make the cleanup to get out and organize a cleanup on your block and get to know the people in your neighborhood. Tori Lowe is the host of the Tori Lowe Show, 2 to 4 on 1017. The Truth is third annual community cleanup. Happens tomorrow. It starts at North Division High School at 8 a.m. Appreciate it, man. Hey, look, I Looking can't like wait a wonderful to see day. you out there yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, thanks for your work. God bless you it's guys. It's going to be a beautiful day as well. We appreciate it, Tori. 1246 at WTMJ. I know you have a great dog, right? But you know there's room for improvement. At Sit Means Sit Dog Training, we can help. Our attention-based training system uses modern technology to help you better communicate with your dog, even in high distraction. When you schedule a free consultation with us, you will have the opportunity to see our training in action and meet for yourself our happy dogs off-leash and under control. Contact Sit Means Sit today at 262-361-3641 or find us on the web at sitmeansitwaukesha.com to schedule your free consultation so you can have a happy, confident, and obedient dog. Outdoor living is great, but it's best when it's at your own home. There's a company called Outdoor Living Unlimited that will build you a deck, a patio, pergola, fire pit, all manner of things to enhance outdoor living at your place, even an outdoor kitchen. Get started right away. Contact Outdoor Living Unlimited now. Get your yard project onto Outdoor Living Unlimited's calendar while there's still openings. OutdoorLivingUnlimited.com Each day, there's a sliver of time when you can almost breathe freely, and you feel better when you can. 
But you know that eventually that sliver of time closes, along with your nose. It puts a damper on your day every day. So you pop a pill or you take a spray to try to get that relief back. But it's always short-lived. And all the while in your efforts to give yourself relief, you may be making your nasal breathing problems worse. I'm Dr. Mudden Candula, and a simple in-office procedure from Advent called Balloon Sinuplasty could be the fast and convenient answer to your breathing triangle problems. Advent has been a leader in this procedure, which can be hard to find elsewhere. It's simple, there's little to no downtime, and it really can be life-changing. Go to adventnose.com to schedule your appointment, because Advent knows when you breathe well, you live better. Results may vary. The original Botanas restaurant. Delectable entrees. 50 top shelf tequilas. 20 different margarita flavors. Stop by for lunch or before or after the big game. The original Botanas on 5th Street. Hey, this is Steve Cifini for Heiser Automotive. I love talking about Heiser. You know that. Five years driving their great vehicles. Last week was moving week. I dropped off the 2023 Ford Explorer XLT, picked up a 2023 Chevy Equinox. A couple things going on here. One, I love the, the Chevy Equinox. Great vehicle. A little smaller than the Explorer, but still plenty of room. Kathy and I are going to buy a Chevy Equinox in in the summer this year, so we want to see all the features and all the cool stuff. They're loaded Great gas mileage, all kinds of cool trim levels, a lot of safety features, including the rear vision camera, which we remarked on how clear that picture was. Lane keep assist, all kinds of technology. You get that with Chevy and all the great models and experiences you find at Heiser Automotive. You can find all of their great cars online at Heiser.com, all the great programs, including safe and sound, roadside assistance for life. That's why they say every day at Heiser, and you know this to be true, and I know it from working with them. Every day. Today's your day. Twelve forty nine on WTMJ. About ten minutes left here in Wisconsin's midday news, and some stories that you may not have heard of throughout the course of the week. It's Friday, which means it's time for Stories of the Strange on Wisconsin's Midday News. I think the headline says it all here, Jessica. Hypersexual zombie cicadas infected with bizarre STD fungus will emerge in the United States. Oh, that's the one you picked. Remember I mentioned that like like earlier this week, just in news, because we were talking about the cicadas and we had already told people about what was going to happen and the two different groups that are going to come out. But I was like, this is something I had not heard of before. These loudmouth bugs will soon become brainwashed horn dogs. Here's what's happening. Ooh. There's a fungus that's going to cause a chalky white plug to burst through the male insect's backsides, taking over their brains and causing their genitals to fall off. Yeah, it's kind of... <laughs> it's funny that you picked this because I was thinking, this is fascinating. I haven't heard about it yet, but do we really want to talk about that one? But so here, yes, we do today. <laughs> here's what, what happens. They'll become zombie-like creatures because their brains will be taken over. It's mating season. They don't have genitals. So what do you do here? Males, for example, will continue to try and mate with females, and it won't work for all the reasons I just mentioned. Mm -hmm. Because, again, their back end is now a fungus. Gross. So the male cicadas will pretend to be females to get males to come to them. And that will double the number of cicadas that an infected individual will come into contact with. So it's like a puppet master here. Overall, less than 5% of the trillion of cicadas expected to emerge will likely be infected by the fungus. So yes, raise your hand if you had hypersexual STD-ridden zombie cicadas on your bingo card. Mm, honestly, ever since I read that story, I, I can visualize the picture of the cicada with the fungus. It's just flying and around. I can, the whole, no, it's not flying around. It was just like sitting there because it's it's got some issues. Uncomfortable, but it's also brainwashed. It doesn't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> so strange. But the whole time you're reading that story, that's all I could think of was that picture. Ah, uh, yeah, with the fungus. The white fungus. <laughs> okay, well, mine actually, we're staying We're staying with animals. I, th- I thought this was strange. Some frogs are screaming. Can you picture a frog screaming? Does the tongue still come out? <laughs> well, I don't know if the tongue comes out, but their mouths are wide open. Okay. Um, Here's the thing, though. Some frogs can indeed scream. Sometimes they are screaming. 
but we, the humans, can't hear them. Oh, it's like a dog can hear it? That's about it? Some animals. So it turns out some frogs scream at an ear-splitting volume for other animals, but the frequency... Not audible to us. Scientists have discovered this. There were some researchers in Brazil who noticed something strange. They were studying frogs out in the Amazon, which sounds like a really cool job, doesn't it? Well, some of these leaf litter frogs, they were arching their backs, throwing back their heads, and then just opening their mouths wide open. So it's a strange visual, right? So you see these frogs in the jungle, and you're like, what are they doing? The humans are thinking, what the heck are they doing? It looked like they were screaming, but the scientists couldn't hear anything. Yeah. <laughs> so then they recorded the frogs using high frequency audio recorders and the scientists captured the first documented case of defensive ultrasound being used by amphibians. So the scream, what they're saying is it's a response to predators. It could be a call to arms to attract another animal to attack the predator. Like I see somebody, he's coming. You help me. So the researchers recorded at least uh, two on two occasions distress calls, as they say. But yeah, we, we can't hear the frequencies higher than 20, what is it, kilohertz? So that's uh, classed as ultrasound, but some animals can't. Stories of the strange on a Friday, <laughs> from hypersexual zombie cicadas to screaming frogs that nobody can really hear. <laughs> it's 12.53 on WTMJ. It's like playing baseball in the house. Mom! Dad broke the window. Without the risk of... <laughs> Again. That. Every Thursday at 8.40, play virtual baseball on Wisconsin's Morning News. Step up to the virtual plate and test your medal against the best. Swing and a drive to right It's here. virtual baseball, presented by Signing Unlimited. Only played here on WTMJ. It's our lowest prices of the season at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Right now, shop unbeatable deals on the things you need for spring. Like select sizes of Meow Mix cat food, just $16.99. Get a free bag of estate garden fertilizer when you buy new estate premium 4-in-1 lawn treatment. Assorted brake pads, rotors, and suspension parts, 20% off. And 50-pound bags of Diamond Crystal Natural Solar Salt, $5.99 each. Don't miss our lowest prices of the season in-store or online at farmandfleet.com. A Friday fish fry is a great Wisconsin and family tradition. I recommend the fish fry at the historic Fox and Hound Supper Club. WTMJ's John Mercure here. It's all you care to eat, and it's one of the best. All other dinners this weekend are buy one, get one free, including the pan-fried wall.